From doing the ironing and the laundry to exploring other worlds and, back home, working side by side with us. Robots are set to become part of our everyday lives. David Reger is the head of Germany's Neuro Robotics. He sees enormous potential for humanoids in light of our aging society. In Europe alone, we're going to have over 7 million fewer people available to work, for example. And if you look at China, there'll be over 80 million fewer workers. We want to meet this demand by creating robots that have the same capabilities as humans. The Neuro Robotics Humanoid is a highlight at the Automatica trade fair in Munich. Visitors can already imagine what tasks it could perform for them. Tidying up, putting clothes and other things away. I'm a bit older and aging faster, so it might be nice to have some help. Doing laundry, emptying the dishwasher. But at the trade fair, the robot just stands still. Neuro's explanation? it could not be adequately trained for the new environment. That said, hardly anyone doubts that the advances made with humanoids are exciting. I'm foreseeing the emergence of an industry over the next few years that will be similar in size to the automotive industry. And if it can greatly reduce the workload for people by taking on tasks in the household, then it will be at least as beneficial as the automobile. This robot, Toro, was developed by the German Aerospace Center. Not to play soccer, but potentially to work on space missions. Humanoids are currently undergoing a tremendous development boom, thanks to artificial intelligence, which helps robots recognize and understand unknown objects and scenarios far faster. We saw earlier in the demo that it didn't see the stairs because they weren't included in its training data. But because it knows that, it can say what is that, and we can use a 3D camera to teach it interactively, so that in the future it will identify and know how to use stairs. Cologne-based Igus has also developed a humanoid. Iggy Rob transports goods, sorts components, and costs 40,000 euros. But it's not in use in any factory, because as is common with humanoids, it has one major disadvantage. It is not autonomous. It would not be able to pick up and put down things spontaneously as needed, like this screw. You really have to teach the robot. You move it back to the position, then move this little robot arm with the gripper to the other component you want to pick up, let it grab it, move the arm back and say, remember how to do this. That's why most customers opt for cheaper alternatives, such as articulated arm robots or smaller transport robots. Still, interest in humanoids is huge, explains robotics engineer Alexander Mullens. The breakthrough for humanoid robots would be when AI provides so much support that they can perform tasks completely independently with no programming required. We're not there yet, but we're doing everything we can to get there soon. It will be a number of years before humanoids are able to act autonomously. Researcher Aline Albu Scheffler says our society should use this time to get ready for a world with robots. We need to start talking in advance about what a society with robots will look like, how these robots will be distributed fairly in society, and how they will be used appropriately. Neuro Robotics aims to launch its humanoids by the end of 2025. The 4NE1 model is set to cost 50,000 euros, the smaller MIPA model, 10,000. These prices are likely to fall significantly once the robots are mass-produced, a future that may be here sooner than we think. <laughs>